Hello, homeboy Sandman. I go by review What's to up? call it. How, um, how are you? Oh, it's great. It's great. I'm, I'm honored to be able to interview you. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. No doubt. Looking out. I'm honored to be getting reviewed by you. Or interviewed. Yeah. I'm happy to YouTube channel called The Spot for Hip Hop TV. And I want to interview for that as well. Um, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Um, I want to know what was your very first rap that you were exposed to? Oh, my first rap that I was exposed to. I'll probably say that would be my father telling me if I did, telling me when I did something wrong, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. He would he would say, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. You know, after Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, um, when I was when I was very small, to warn me that I was heading in the wrong direction. Okay, that's an interesting story. That's really cool. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, my father was into the old rap records. You know, he had all that old stuff. I had the, had the uh, Sugar Hill Gang vinyls and all that. Uh, so he would see he 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 would he would quote the early the early joints to me before I even knew what he was talking about. Hmm. So I take it that you um after you said that after a while you want to dig and find out where he gets that from, huh? And you find it in well, the records. Well, yeah. I mean, no. I mean, uh, I guess yeah. Time came along where I realized that was the Grandmaster Flash record. He was, you know, the message that that he got that from. Um. And I checked out his records afterwards, uh, uh, and you know, people that he had never got on But, um, but yeah, I get you know, if you if, that's the first thing that comes to me is my is my first exposure. You know what I mean? Later on, my first real, you know, uh, I remember. I, re I mean, that was real exposure. But um, I had my, my older my older aunts, Lisa and Lily, were into. Uh, rap heavy and they was trying to put me on a DDP and it was going to put me on a Big Daddy Kane and a couple of joints that was out in the mid 80s um, mm -hmm. but uh, but it wasn't until Jazzy Jeff I'm the Fresh Prince he's a DJ I'm a rapper um, mm -hmm. that I really really you know fell in love with the whole thing oh that's awesome yeah those are all good records all of them um, do you happen to have a favorite MC um, growing up, I always, uh, you know, I always, my favorite MC was Black Thought of the Roots Crew, you know what I mean, for, for, um, and, and definitely, I, you know, I still say, I think, Black Thought of Second and None, um, there's a couple of people that have joined Thought in, in my pantheon now, you know, Super Villain Doom, Second and None, Aesop mm -hmm. Rock, Second and None, you mm -hmm. know, um, I think there's a lot of guys who are, you know, fantastic, uh, you know, Farrell Munch, uh, Lupe Fiasco, uh, you know, Eminem, Big Pun, Redman. You know, there's there's a lot of people who are who are second to none. But um, Black Thought was always my, my my favorite dude coming up. Yeah, there's so many different artists out there now versus how it was back in the day. It's really kind of hard to nail down just one particular favorite. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to, I like to just, you know, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say I have a favorite anymore because now, you know, I, you know, there are all the people that I named and, you know, people coming out all the time, you know, uh, uh, but, um, most of the people coming out all the time, you know, I still, it's easy for me to zero in on the, on the, on the people that I regard as particularly elite, but it's always cool to, 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 to be introducing new ones too. Okay. That's awesome. Um, as a uh, independent artist, what has rap taught you? Uh, what's rap taught me? Um, I mean, I, you know, uh, what is what has rap taught me? I mean, I, I rap has taught me a lot about myself. You know, I learn about myself from from rhymes a lot. You know, the rhymes come to me sometimes. I don't know what they mean at first. You know. But then later on, it's kind of revealed to me, you know. And if I if I decipher, you know, writing all the time, day after day, year after year, um, is very, uh, you know, it reveals a lot about myself to me, you know, because the rhyme comes from inside, 
you know, a lot of it comes from intuition, a lot of it comes from the gut. You know, I think the intuition is the direct line, you know, to God. So, you know, I definitely have had God speak through me. You know what I mean? I had a record called Dusty that I didn't even understand what the record was about at all up until, you know, months after it was released. You know what I mean? Then, then it was, you know, all, all became clear to me, you know. So I would say, you know, my answer is uh, rap teaches me about myself more than anything else. My rap does, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And I also wanted to know, you know, I know you moved around a lot, you know, and I was wondering, where's the best place you lived and where was the worst place you lived? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, shoot, best, best, and worst. I mean, I, I've, 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 uh, I'm not good with worst questions, you know. I mean, I, I'm, 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 uh, I try to maintain a gratitude attitude, you know what I'm saying? So every place I've lived at and been at, you know, I was able to inter- interact with interesting people and pick up interesting things. Um, I mean, uh, I mean, the best, I mean, I, I love where I live now, you know, in Brooklyn is real nice. I love my block, cool people, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I, I, I love where I grew up, you know what I mean? Growing up in, mm-hmm. in Elmer's Queens was, was awesome, you know, it was, Great, uh, great energy, great diversity, a lot of fun and everything. Um, shoot, I mean, I've been all over. I, 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 I really, uh, shoot, man. I, um, I can tell you that uh, places where you need a car, mm-hmm. I don't love as much. You know what I mean? Because I like bicycling and I like walking. Walking. So places mm-hmm. you need a car. Um, and people, and I want, whenever I go there, I want to sit in a car half the day, you know what I mean? And I need a car to go from one place to another constantly. Those, uh, those resonate a little bit less, you know, with me, but those, you know, just logistically, you know, there's still great people from those places, but, um, I like, I like being able to walk around and I like being able to bike around and, and, um, yeah, so, so, you know, places that are super duper spread out with all the highways and everything's about cars. Um, I prefer, I guess I prefer, you know, tighter density, you know? I understand, yeah. yeah if I'm in, a, if I'm in an urban place, because I love, I love, I love, I love, um, that's if I'm in an urban area, because I love rural, you know, I love nature too, you know, I love being out in nature um, a great deal as well. So obviously if I'm out there, you know, it's, it's a different, I don't mind if I got a, you know, drive to the market to get something it's different, different mindset. Right, I understand. Yeah, things that it seems like things that are areas that are more close together, you get a whole lot of flavor in them. You know, there's a lot of uh, diversity, lots of different things to see and do, all in a little concentrated area. And I find those areas a lot better than those that are really sprawled out. Oh, where, where, where are you from? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Yo, I'm going to be in St. Louis. But my show oh, yeah? is unannounced. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'll tell you when it is, but it's not announced. It's going to get announced later this month. But okay. um, I can tell you, so you can say the date, but you can't, you can't, you can't put this in the, in the, in the, the interview. But I'm going to be, that. I'm going to be in September. I'm going to be at a place called Old Rock House. You know the place? The Old venue Rock called, House. Yeah, called Old Rock House on September 9th. Okay. Say the day, reality. Funny. Tell tell people to come through, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, you can put it in the interview if you want. You know what I'm saying? Spread the word. Okay. Old Rock House, okay. St. Louis, come through September 9th. I'm checking in to see how things are going. Uh... It's going terrible. The old this rock is the worst. house, yeah, this down the on the worst. landing. What's that? The old rock house down on the landing. Yeah, I'm going to be there September 9th. Come through. Tell September everybody you know to oh, come definitely, through. Oh, definitely, definitely, It's not definitely, announced yet, but yeah, it's going to get announced uh, later this month. Uh, okay, we'll come down and do some videos and photos. Night. Yeah, yeah, do that. But aside from that, this has been the worst interview I've ever done. It's terrible. Now I'm only kidding. Everything's going great. <laughs> Why you scare me like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm out. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, back to the music. Now, um, what was your very first rap about? Um, my very first rap, I had a rap when I was a kid called I'm Hype. Can't really remember it, but it was about me being hype. So it was pretty much ragged doe show, you know, conventional, how cool I am rap, you know. That was, uh, okay. I think that was my, my first rap, you know, so where I wrote out a whole verse. Or at least, it was at least one verse. Because I'm angel and I'm hype. I'm, that was part of it. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So, so about what age was that? That was early. I mean, probably, you know, pre-teens or something, or 12 or 13, maybe 13 or 12 or 11. And that, you know, early double-digit years. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, that's about the time I started doing that myself. You on yeah. as well? Yeah, I do. I do spoken word poetry and rap. Oh, okay. Well, because, yeah, I know you used to use reality to poet, but, you know, obviously they... They they go hand in hand oftentimes. Yeah, they do. They do. Um, something out of the ordinary. I don't think anybody's ever asked you this. Um, are you a cat or a dog person, and why? Well, to be honest, I never really had no pets. My girlfriend, um, she doesn't even have a dog, but her sister has a dog that she is crazy about. Like she loves this dog. They, every, the whole family, like, this dog is, like, the king of the family. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you know, or like, <laughs> it's kind of fascinating. Um, and that's a cool dog. Santi is his name. You know, I like Santi. He's cool. Um, I I don't know if I'm a dog or a cat person, even though I like Santi a lot, because I do have a neighbor on the second floor that sometimes asks me to feed his cat when he leaves. Because he mm-hmm. can't even move about freely because you got to look after this cat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't know if I'm a cat or a dog person because, you know, I don't want to have to think about, you know, who the heck is going to see my pet if I leave my house. You know what I'm saying? It just seemed yeah. too constrictive yeah. for me. You know what I mean? I, but I'm, I'm very, I mean, I guess, you know, for that reason, I, you know, um, but, uh, uh, but, um, my girlfriend is moving in with me soon and, um, she wants to get a dog. We'll get one. So I guess I may be a dog person, perhaps. Time okay. will tell. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. And, um, outside of hip hop, um, do you have any musical influences? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great deal. Um. I think I would even go as far as to say that, uh, that uh, you know, my 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 outside of hip hop musical influences are um, are every bit as um, as uh, prominent and and, and uh, every bit as have played a, as big a role in my hip hop as my in hip hop influences, and uh, you know I love jazz music. I love soul mm-hmm. music. I mean, Stevie Wonder is my favorite artist of all time. Earlier today, I was listening to Depeche Mode. You know, uh, you know, I love eighties pop, but I love uh, shoot, I love uh, I love all types of stuff. Earlier today, I was listening to some, uh, I guess, some Asian. I don't even. I love global music. I love world music. You know, I love uh, reggae. You know, mm-hmm. ska. You know, I love all types of joints. Um, I love classical, and I love uh, I love a lot of joints, you know, some calypso joints. I mean, there's, I love joints. I love Spanish music for sure. You know, I love salsa. I love merengue. I love bachata. I love I love fly jams of of, of various genres. And I and I and when I'm listening to music, I listen to hip hop sometimes, but just as much I'm listening to, you know, something else. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. See, one thing about hip hop is it kind of forces you. I don't want to say force. That's a bad word. It leads you into different music genres because if you, you if you're listening to a bunch of sample based beats and you're like, who is that? What is that? Where does it come from? And you dig, and then you find out who it is, and you're like, wow. You listen to the record, and boom. You're, you're yeah, it's a great it's a great gateway. Like they say, marijuana is a gateway drug. Hip hop is a yeah. gateway genre. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
And also, I got one last question. Like, what exactly led you to start rapping in the first place? Um, you know, I, you know, I, like I said, you know, as a child, there was, you know, uh, hip hop, you know, uh, just uh, prevalence, you know, and just that I would come across as uh, in my environment and in the people I would interact with. Um, when I went to high school, I went to high school outside of New York, a, a place called the Holder Inn School. It was in Plymouth, New Hampshire. At that time, you know, I felt very fish out of watery, and um, and I kind of disappeared. You know, my, my my solace was my music, so I developed a I developed a bond with music at that time that um, that has stayed strong throughout my entire life. And I feel like at that time, you know, as my brain was congealing and all that, I really come to love hip hop music, and I really come to you know start to be fascinated with you know. Uh, 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 creativity and uh, associated with it um and after that you know uh that's one day one day one day uh well yeah one day i realized it's what i love doing you know what i mean and, and what mm-hmm. i had a you know i believe god you know i believe uh i'm very grateful to god for you know i believe god is at the at the is the is the you know my creativity comes from god so so uh you know i'm 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 very happy with my son. That's good. That's good. Well, is there anything you want to leave? Any notes you want to leave for the um, people who will be checking this interview out? Um, shoot, man. So this is a St. Louis based website. Yes, it is. All right. So definitely come through September ninth to that spot. What did I say it was called? I can't remember because I closed it. Do you remember? Ah, uh, it was old rock. Uh, let's see. Oh, rock. I can't remember. It was like something rock. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Cause this is important. Old Rock House. Yeah. Old Rock House. Yeah. Everybody in St. Louis come to Old Rock House September 9th. All right. Uh, beyond that, you know, peace and love. Love is the answer. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. I guess, uh, I got a, I got a, I got a new, uh, on my, on my, you know, Shouts to Mellow Music Group. They will be mm-hmm. releasing my recent records. You know what I mean. Going to release my, my my upcoming records. But um, on my on my on on the Homeboy Sandman YouTube, which is the individual Homeboy Sandman YouTube, I've been doing a a slice of life series lately. Just um, dropped the the second one earlier this week, which is just a visual of me doing something. You know, uh, kind of very day to day. Uh, with a new jam, so you know, yeah. I guess I would also say to folks, you know, to check out the Homeboy Sam and do too for some Homeboy Sam and stuff. But you know, they may not be up on. Obviously, when I put stuff out with mellow music or you know, put right, with, you know, uh, uh, Rom says puts out the stuff that I do with Aesop, the light stuff, and you know, that gets a certain degree of attention. And mellow music gets a degree when I put out records with Stone Throw, we get a certain degree of attention. But I, you know. And big shout to all three of those labels, and I, it really is uh, very much an honor to be, um, you know, in a, in in a, in allegiance with the three of them in alliance. But uh, I also got some stuff that ain't even tied into them going on that I think flies under the radar sometimes. So if you want to get up on that, check out the Homeboy Shame on YouTube. Okay, we'll do. I'll definitely do that. Hey. All right. Well, thank you so much for the interview. It's been a real pleasure. Can't wait to absolutely come up with next. Yeah, yeah, and no doubt. Pleasure, pleasure's all mine. Um, you know, uh, 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 keep up the, you know, with the with the poetry that you got popping and everything. Uh, why don't you send me one of your poems? Can I can I see a poem? Can you email it to me, at Homeboy Sam?